Fairback riding time on Thursday night. And I'm going to ask you one more time. Kimberly Maine, are you ready? First thing I ever knew about rodeo was Dan and Billy Willis, and they were rodeo clowns and bull riders. And uh, so I just kind of, that was pretty cool. I wanted to do that. I was four years old at that time, probably. When, uh, when, I, wanted to, when I saw a rodeo clown for the first time, I was like, oh, and I said, that's kind of, that looks fun right there. Because I was riding bucking horses at that time, and that wasn't paying me very much. Well, hell no. We don't want to get them to be an accountant. I mean, if you, there's enough money in this business that my kid at 17 year old stepped into the largest, largest rodeos in the country at my pay scale. So now he's blowing up. He is the, calling him right and left. He's, uh, he's working the biggest, the Calgary Stampede. Uh, all the ones that I've done as well, he's already doing them for almost double of what I did. It's just a given because, you know, anybody that does this on this kind of level is flirting with death every time they go out there. This is a very, very dangerous sport. And it was, you know, 30 years ago, Utah Marshall in Dublin, Virginia, just drove through there the other day. A bucking horse smashed his head on the ground because the guy at the fairgrounds wouldn't let us disc up the arena and the arena was real hard and he smacked his head on the ground and he died. And the next one was James Long in Chiefland, Florida. He was an army kid who uh, thought he wanted to be a bull rider. And a uh, bull stepped in his face and he died 30 days later when we got him home to Texas. And then just a couple of years ago, 21 years old and a star and a bucking horse rider and a college kid. And he was on his way up and uh, Horse killed him right in the arena, and uh, you know it, it sucks. But um, those are the characters that come to mind. There's been a lot of weird ones, but there's some some angels as well. Well, you know I'm a pretty tough guy, but uh, in Boston at the Topsfield Fair, working a show, and a bull hung his horn in my clown pants and uh, hung it bad and uh, ripped my clown pants down around my feet and I was hung to his head by my feet for 50 seconds. And that's a lifetime. And it's long enough to fight and fight and lose and fight and fight and lose again and then give up. And at that point of giving up is uh, what haunts a guy. With holding those kids while they pass from this earth and then almost doing it yourself, it kind of changes a guy. Puts you in touch with why in the world are you here and why in the world are you doing this? It's a fun lifestyle, but it's serious as hell at sometimes, you know? I'm uh, Wyatt Denny, I'm from Minden, Nevada. I'm a professional bareback rider and this is pretty much how we get our arm taped up, how we get it rolling for when we get on a bucking horse. Basically what I'm doing right here is just a it's what we call preventative maintenance. Like they say in rodeo, it's not uh, if you get hurt, it's when you get hurt. As we transition to bucket sheet number one, we go to the number 16 man in the world for 2021, trying to make his fourth appearance to the City of Lights in Las Vegas, Nevada for the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. Wyatt Denny, Minden, Nevada man, getting ready to nod his head on a horse they call Tweaks. Come on, let's go. If you love it like I do and you want to do it for an extended period of time, you know, you got to do everything in your will to make sure that you can do it long, because this is how I make a living. This is 
just like anybody else would go to an office job, this is what I do. I work weekends. In, in the show business world of rodeo, and there's there's one superstar here, and that's JC Lana Weaver. She's a trick rider, and she's 11 years old. They strapped her in the saddle at birth, I think, and she's just amazing on horseback. I got to say hello to Miss JC Lynn. originally from Montana, Pennsylvania. What's your horse's name? His name's Dude. Good horse? Yeah, very. Yeah. Do you have a favorite trick? Um, definitely the Cossack Death Drag, which is the second to last trick I did before the Liberty Stand. Okay. Are you working on any new ones? Um, yeah, I'm currently working on the Shoulder Stand and the Full Fender. But you really like doing it, huh? Yes, I do. Okay, what's your favorite subject in school? Um, my favorite subject in school is ELA or English Language Arts. What else? What's your second favorite? Um, definitely math class. I don't like science as much. I don't like doing experiments. Thank you everyone for coming out to see me. She's going places for sure. All she needs is a bigger stage. She's ready right now. There's a couple of tricks that the larger girls do, and that's vault by hitting the ground with their feet and spring back up into the saddle. But she can't even touch the ground. She can barely reach her stirrups. So she's 11 years old and awesome. I better go wake up my buddy over here. It's rodeo time. You ready, Larry? Uh, sit. Shake hands. Good boy. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. Ride up straight. Ride, buddy. Ride. Come on. Come on. Larry time. Hey, we, we got one more. We got one more, y'all. Time. I'm about to lay it on, folks. Hollywood Harris. Howdy, Good night, everybody. That's it. No, I couldn't work in the office, man. You don't want to work in the office someday? No, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Thanks. I want to know, Cumberland May, did you all have a good time on Wednesday night? We want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to spend a little quality time with us as we swing the...